For most older siblings, the arrival of a new little boy or girl in the family is a moment of sadness as it means they'll no longer be the center of attention. But Princess Charlotte certainly won't mind when the next royal sibling comes along later this month as it means she'll be making history. Thanks to the succession to the Crown Act of 2013, the two-year-old will be the first female royal to retain her position in the succession of the throne, regardless of her new sibling's gender. Prior to the act a younger brother would overtake a female sibling in the line of succession. The act says, succession to the crown, not to depend on gender, in determining the succession to the crown, the gender of a person born after 28 October 2011 does not give that person, or that person's descendants, precedence over any other person, whenever born. The same act also meant that members of the royal family who marry a Catholic will no longer be disqualified. Last month Clarence House fueled speculation that the Duchess of Cornwall could yet be made queen after deleting all references saying she will be styled as Princess Consort when Prince Charles becomes king from his official website. The heir to the throne's office has quietly taken down a statement made before the couple got married in 2005, in which they said it is intended the Duchess will be known as HRH the Prince's Consort when the Prince of Wales accedes to the throne. It was also removed from her personal biography. Clarence House officials insisted that the statement had been removed some time ago from their frequently asked questions segment because the public was no longer interested in the issue. A spokesman said, this is one question that Clarence House has not been asked by the public for some time, which is why it no longer features 